Hello, my most amazing artists. Back again in the studio. Today we are going to paint. We're going to draw and paint. You know the deal. Um, this really cool rabbit, which I thought might be fun to paint at home for Easter. So, before we get started, I need to tell you what to go and gather. You are going to need some paper. I'm using that bit heavier paper. You can use whatever paper you've got. If you've got a canvas, this one's actually a canvas. You can paint on a canvas if you've got one. If you don't have one, you don't need to. I'm not going to paint on a canvas today. I'm gonna to paint on paper. I am gonna paint with acrylic paints today. You guys can see that. And if you have acrylic paints at home, a really good way to store them is in an ice cube tray that has a lid. Hello, game changer for your big humans. It keeps them nice and tiny. It will store them for um, probably five or six weeks, which is kind of awesome. If you don't have acrylic paints, you can totally watercolor your rabbit. If you don't have watercolors, you can make watercolors using textures. Texture on a snap lock bag, dip your paintbrush in water, and that activates the texture to turn it into watercolor. If you don't have textures or you're not allowed to paint, that is okay. You can totally draw it and color it with pencil. Lots of options. We're gonna jump in and have, oh, hang on. I'm getting better, I'm getting better at remembering what I need to do next. Because I don't write it down, I'm gonna pause. Oh, paintbrushes, wait, don't pause yet. You need paintbrushes. If you're painting, grab some paintbrushes. You also need a lead pencil, I was getting excited. You need a lead pencil. Um, now I'm gonna pause so you can go gather your supplies. I'm paused. You should have all your supplies ready to go. I'm going to draw on my whiteboard. Have a practice piece of paper so you can do a practice draw with me. Then that way we just get our hands warmed up in the flow. Um, and then we're going to draw again. So we are going to draw in shapes like we always do. Lots of shapes. You guys can probably see shapes on here already. And like magic, it's going to turn into a rabbit or a bunny whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're going to, he takes up most of our page again. I'm going to do a little circle shape. It's got a little bit of a point. It's not a point, it's sort of an oval. There we go. I might actually bring you guys a little bit closer now so you can see. Can you see that? Is that better? I think so. I can that. There we go. So there's our first shape. I'm going to put two. They're kind of really tall, skinny rainbow shapes. Up there, for ears. I'm going to put a line, sort of an, oh, it's kind of like a flat rainbow shape across there to separate when he's, um, where his nosy bit is. I'm gonna pop some shoulders because he's got a really cool top on. If I go too fast, pause me. I'm going to put up here skinny rubber shapes. And if I've got a rubber, I can rub these out here. You don't have to though, because it's only a practice. It doesn't really matter. Nothing's Don't forget, I've got music on. So if you can hear it, that's cool. Otherwise you're going to think I'm just randomly singing. Um, I'm going to put, you can put whatever design on this top you like. I'm, I like these stripy things. So I'm going to put stripes on there. What will happen if I do teeny weeny tiny stripes? Yes, you are right. It will take you ages to paint. 
So kind of do wide stripes if you're gonna do stripes. If you're happy to take a long time to paint, totally do teeny tiny stripes. You could do spots, you could do flowers, you could do love hearts, you could do, I'm looking around the studio again. Oh, you could do pencils. You could draw pencils on his top, whatever you want, do your artwork. Now, if we're doing um, our proper draw, I would stop there. Why would I stop there? Why, why would I stop there? I can hear a clever artist saying, because Christy, we're gonna paint all here. So we're gonna paint over his details, so we don't need to pop them in right now. We can pop them in on our practice draw so we, we know what's going on. You can do your eyes however you like. I'm gonna do a couple of wonky eyes. She's a bit of a crazy rabbit today. And an upside down, oh, a V shape for his nose. And a great big happy. I haven't left very much room for his teeth. That's okay. Oh, he looks really wonky. <laughs> That's okay. That's pretty much practice to a done. I'm gonna grab my paper and pop it here. Ready for our real go. I'm actually gonna draw in a black pencil again because that seems to be really cool so that you can see that. Let's see if I can come a tiny bit closer. Cool. Alright, ready to jump in? Good to go. Well, let's go. Again, I want to take up most of the page. I might actually think about leaving a bit more space for those teeth. And we can do that when we've had a practice draw. We can go, oh, I liked that bit. Didn't like that bit so much, so I can change that. I'm not ex extremely loving his eyes, so I might change those again too. So we're going to pop in that overly shape. And then nice tall rainbows, long skinny rainbows. And then I think we went across his, the, to separate his, the, this part of his face from his nosy bit. I'm going to pop the shoulders in, they go all the way down to the bottom of the paper. And I'm going to stick with the stripes because I like the stripes. Whoops. It's okay. Don't forget if I go too fast, you can pause me. Coming back up to the ears to pop the inside of the ears in. So I'm going to pop little rainbow shapes. I don't know if this will rub out. Let me see. It's not really going to rub it, doesn't really matter because we're going to paint over it. I just want to remind myself that the outside of the ears is going to be the same colour as here. Now, that's all the painting, um, painting, that's all the drawing we need to do right now. If we were in art class, one of my most amazing artists would definitely go, Christy, do we have to paint the bunny the same colours as you? What do you think I would say? No way. You can pick whatever colours you like. I'm going to um, live a little today and I'm going to paint my bunny pink, I think. The very first job though that we're going to do is paint around this, around the outside. So I'm going to use my acrylic paints today. If you don't have them, remember I gave you other options at the beginning, so you can totally do that. You can totally paint. Um, oh, you can totally paint with watercolor. You can use textures. You might even color it in with the sharp with sharpies. Totally okay. I'm going to paint around my background orange, 
and I'm putting a line all the way around the outside of my bunny. Why do you think I might do that? Why do you think I might put a line all the way around the outside? Yes, you are right! Because it makes it easier to paint those big bits. And then that way we won't go inside the bunny. You can see I'm taking my time here to go all the way around. I'm just gonna shuffle you back just a little bit. There we go. All the way up to the top, all the way around the outside of the bunny. All the way. I'm using the medium sized brush of mine today because it makes it easier. And I'm spreading the paint out. Nice long strokes. Can you see me doing nice long strokes? Nice long strokes. So if you spread your paint out, now if I leave gloopy bits, I'm going to show you what, it, what I mean by a gloopy bit. Whoa! I just got paint on me. It's okay. Usually I have, my hands are covered in paint. But I'm gonna put a couple of gloopy bits on here so you can see, and I'm gonna bring you really close. Whoa, can I? Yeah, can you see where those are standing up? Or let their gloopy bits here, just here. You wanna spread those out. You wanna spread it out, cause why? That's exactly right. That would take ages to dry. We'll take ages to dry. So we want to spread the paint right out, spread it all the way out, go all the way around, all the outside. And I can still see I've got lots of paint on there. Whoops, went in the bunny, that's okay. Nice big spread out. Once you've done your background, you might need to let it dry for a while. If you spread it out, it'll dry quicker than if you've got gloopy bits. So spread it out, nice long strokes, nice long brush strokes. Nice big long brush strokes. That's it. Cool. And you pretty much can't see any white on my background. That's exactly what I want. And I can see it, bits are already starting to dry. So I'm going to be really careful with my paint. I think I'm going to stay pink. I'm going to live a little and go all pink bunny. I'm going to use this dark pink. You can pick whatever colour you like to paint your bunny. Yeah, she's going to be groovy. So we're going to paint her the top half of her head. I'm still using my medium paintbrush. If your bunny is only a little bunny, you might use a smaller paintbrush. I'm going to come up and do the outsides of the ears. You can see I'm taking my time. Now, if, if, if I'm a little bit faster than you, just pause me. Press pause just because if we were in the studio, you'd be able to say, Christy, can you please wait? Can you hang on, please? And I'll go short. But because we are online and I am a YouTuber, <laughs> um, <laughs> you can pause me. <sighs> it's a bit crazy, isn't it? Me being a YouTuber. Anyway. It means that I get to stay connected to you and we get to create together. And that is the coolest thing ever. All right, pretty happy with that. I'm going to paint, I'm making, I'm deciding as I go today, I'm gonna to paint this light pink. So in my art class, usually we, you have a palette. You might be allowed to mix your paints at home. 
I like to keep my tray nice and tidy. So I'm going to put a, a, a bit of a blob of pink there. And can I dip in with the dirty brush into the white in our class? Clean brush, clean brush. And I'm dipping into the white and I put it next to it. And then I can gently mix the colors. Everybody likes mixing paint in art class, so. Your palette, this palette is just a piece of cardboard that I cut up and I made a rainbow shape up here. And I test it to see, mm, I'm gonna add some more white, but I need a clean brush to add some more white because I've blended all the white there. So, clean brush. I want it a bit lighter. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's better. Clean brush, I've got a gloopy bit. What do I need to do? Spread it out, that's right. Spread it out. Beautiful. She's going to be a super cool bunny. Now, sometimes people will ask me in our class, can I put a bow in her hair or can I give him glasses? Yes, you can. Do it last though. Do it right at the end because they're the details. Because I'm actually thinking of some details that I could add to her at the moment. Which is kind of nice to be able to think ahead, think what I might do. There we go. So while her face and her ears dry, I need to think about what colour I'm going to do her top. I can see it in my palette. Yes, that's going to be cool. Super cool. I'm going to use this aquary colour. Oh, can you see this one here, there? This is going to be a really bright, funny picture today. I'm still, I've cleaned my medium brush and I'm still using it. I might change to my little brush because I don't, I want those corners to be nice and neat. I've still got paint on this brush, so I'm using it to borrow. These paint brushes are friends, so it's like, can I borrow some paint off you? Yes, you totally can. There we go. The things are a bit crazy in the studio when I'm here on my own. The paintbrushes sometimes talk to each other. It's like, hello, how are you? Oh, I'm really glad. How are you? Can I borrow some paint? Of course you can. <laughs> and look at that. Paintbrushes that are friends. So much fun. And I can see this is a big one. I'm going to hold both paintbrushes. I'm going to hold both paintbrushes because I know these corners, I like to, them, that, to have that nice edge. So I can paint the middle bit with my bigger brush. Nice long strokes. No gloopy bits, remember? We don't want no gloopy bits. Oh, I did that one nice and neat. That's cool. There's a tiny bit of paint still on that brush, so we're, because my paint brushes are friends, they're just borrowed. Just need a tiny bit more. And down here, I'm going to stay with the little brush because there's only a little section to paint down here. Oopsie. So you might need to give this some time to dry now before we do our fill-in. It's looking pretty good for me and it's pretty warm in the studio so it's kind of, I can see that bits of it are already dry. I'm going to paint these in white. Now you might go, but they're already white, Christy. Do I have to paint them again? Mm -hmm. If you were at art class, I'd go, yeah, totally. 
because I can tell that this is white paper. And when I paint it white, it will actually, it's not going to be that different, but you can just tell. Trust me, okay? Do you trust me? Trust me. Trust me. If you're going to paint white, just paint white. It's got a tiny bit of green because I clearly haven't cleaned that brush well enough, but that's okay. Whoopsie. A little bit more white for the next one. Oh, that's got some. It's got a little bit of grey in it. I think it's off the black pencil, but that's okay. We'll work with it today. It's not that bad. Oh. Cool, she's looking pretty cool, I like her. Okay, this is pretty dry. I can blend that a little bit because I actually have a couple of little bloopy bits that I can see. Oh, it's wet. It's pretty good now. So, I'm gonna come back to my pencil and this is where we can put our details in. If yours is wet, don't draw over it while it's wet. What will happen? Yes, yes, the paper will tear. And you'll go, oh no, oh no. So don't do that. All right, I'm gonna give her, you might not get the C actually. Not really well. I'll bring you close in a second. I'm just popping two eyes in. Let me see, let me see. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to draw her details in and then I'm going to bring you close for a good look. Um, so I'm just doing her rough outline. I'm actually going to make her nose a love heart. A love heart for her nose. I'm a bit excited now. Because that's cool. I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that while I was painting, but I thought of it now. All right. So I remember I did here. I didn't leave enough room. So I'm only gonna make, whoops, stay there. I'm gonna make this a little bit short, but really, really smiley. And then I'm going to give her some beautiful bunny teeth so she can eat her carrots really well. Ooh, hang on, there we go. Still learning, you know, still figuring things out. I'm actually going to give her some eyelashes on her eyes, but we can do that right at the end because I'm going to outline her in everything um, in a black Posca paint pen. So we need a clean brush. I'm going to paint her nose in black. You could, put, you could outline everything in a Posca paint pen, or you can have a go. You can use a Sharpie, totally use a Sharpie, when it is completely dry. Um, or you can paint the details in. And I'm thinking I might have a go painting the details in today. So I've done a black nose. I need to paint her teeth and her eyes in next. So I want some white. So really carefully paint the eyes in. Now you can do open eyes, closed eyes, however you do. Your eyes, totally you could do that. You can tell I'm taking my time because I'm not even really talking that much while I paint those in. And her teeth. Yeah. 
You don't have to do teeth on her if you don't want to or on your bunny. Totally up to you. But I kind of like it. She's kind of cute. Your choice though, because it's your artwork. She's looking pretty good. I'm going to have to give her a bit of a dry, I think, so I can get those details in. So, I have got a dry plugged in, I think. I'm just going to step over here, switch the dry on really quick. No. Hang on. Dry plugged in. Yes, I do. So, I'm just going to give her face a bit of a dry, you can see me giving it a dry. I'm imagining most of you don't have a dryer at home, and that is okay. You might like to have a little movement break now, or you might like to have a cookie, if you're allowed, or a piece of fruit, something, just to pass the time while your bunny rabbit dries. That is close enough for us what we need. Details, details, details. So, this bunny, I'm gonna call her Betsy. Betsy Bunny is my girl today. You might like to call your bunny something. And I'm gonna outline her in black. So I'm gonna put some in black paint. I uh, I'm gonna start here. Remember I'm a lefty, so and I'm trying not to touch it because there are some little damp bits. So I've watered down my black acrylic paint a little bit. Just a dip in the water. It just makes it easier to flow. So this is the point where you can decide if you don't want to do that, you might like to outline yours in a Charmin. Or if you have a Posca paint pen, you can outline it in a Posca paint pen. Or if you've done it in Texter, you can outline in Texter. Have a play around. That's what art is fun, because you get to play around and figure out what works for you. first but you must outline absolutely everything and when I say that in art class sometimes I get this reaction <gasps> and then they all go absolutely everything Christy yes outline absolutely everything please my lines aren't exactly perfect and I kind of like that practice go on your practice one doing your outlines if you wanted to have a practice with the paint sorry sorry remember I said I'm not very good at singing it's true but it doesn't stop me okay Gonna be tricky with the eyes because I know there's lots of damp spots, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Outlining her eyes. And she's gonna have some little eyelashes there. Might even fill that in, so she's got an eyelid. Yeah, it's going a little bit grey because I knew the white wasn't exactly dry. And I need to stand back with you guys and have a look. She's looking cute. Little eyeball. I need some more black paint. It's tricky for even me to outline sometimes. So if you want to have a go, have a go. And if you don't, that's okay. 
eyelash, eyelash, eyelash. And then her eyelid. And her eye. Oh, she's looking really cute. I like her. Whoop. That's okay. I'm trying just to use the tip of my brush. So I'm using that pointy brush and I'm just trying to use the tip of that. I'm going to outline those beautiful teeth that she can chomp her carrots with. And I need to add, oh, actually, I'm going to give her some little, uh, that's cool, Those white whiskers spots, I don't know, are they whiskers spots? I think maybe, I don't know, they're cute little freckles things. That one to top, all the way down to the bottom of the page, and this side. No. I really like her, you guys. She is, um, she looks a little bit French, kind of. But she's got the strappy top on. She looks pretty cool, I like her. So on this one, there's got some spots around the background. Hang on, I'm gonna bring you close so you can have a good look at her. She's kinda cute, huh? Ah. I'm gonna put the spots on the background too as my final thing on this one, because I like it. I'm gonna use my big brush, turned upside down. This is going to give a perfect spot. So I want to dip in and find some white. Yes. I'm going to dip it in just the bottom. And then we go. Now, if you dip in a lot, it's going to make it gloopy. So. It's okay because it's the last thing that we're doing. It'll take some time to dry. So you'll need to sit it in the sun. Because I can see a few of my spots are a bit gloopy, but that's okay today. And if you hold it nice and upright and you spot straight down, it'll give you a good spot. Now you can put as many on there as you like. You might put some flowers or hearts on your background. You can do that. It's your artwork. It's up to you, what you whatever you want to do. I'm gonna call her done. I can bring her close. How about I bring her to you? That would be cool. Clever, wouldn't it? Oh she's kind of really cute. I'm gonna call her done but I can't call it finished because why? That's right, you have to sign her. You guys know. Um, you can sign her, I'm gonna sign her with the Sharpie because it's easier to write. I'm gonna sign it with a black Sharpie because it because I've done all the outlines in black. So, I have to come this way because I'm a lefty. I'm gonna sign down here. But in my art class, you can sign it wherever you like. Some people will sign it probably in the ear, maybe on the shirt. You could even write a message on the shirt if you want to. I just thought of that. Um, you could write, I don't know, dream big, live inspired, art is awesome, anything you want really. 
um, but you must sign it. You must sign it. Don't sign it with a pencil, sign it with a Sharpie or a Posca paint pen. You can even sign it with a paintbrush with your paint if you painted the whole thing. I find it easier to sign it with a Sharpie or a paint pen, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, if you love it like I love it, and your, you ask your human, please, my human, could you send Christy a picture? I would love that so much. Um, and paint it whatever colour you like. Make it really groovy and interesting. That's probably it today. Um, I still miss you guys in the studio, but I'm so happy that we can connect like this. So until next time I see you, bye for now.